Hello guys, in this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the response body with rest assured. We have mentioned response body several times in our former tutorials, but this time we are going to go into the depths of what response body actually comprises of and we are going to get it printed in our rest assured test. Let us first understand what this response body is. The response body contains the resource data that was requested by the client. The response body you could say is nothing but the HTTP message body which is sent by the server and it contains the data bytes which are transmitted by the server. Let us understand the response body in the postman tool. We are in the postman tool. We have created a get request and sent it to the server to fetch certain resources. These resources involve the book list that we are looking for when we send out the get request. Next step, the server verifies if the request is alright and secondly if it has the necessary resources that we have requested for. Once these things are confirmed, the server sent out a response to us. It contained the status code, the headers and the response body that we are seeing on the screen right now. This response body is in the form of a JSON body and it is a book list which contains books which have certain properties such as ISBN, title, subtitle and such others. At the moment what we are looking to do right now is extract the same response body from the response in the rest assured code and try to print it out on the console of the application. We are in the rest assured application. So far we have composed our request and printed out the status code as well as the headers that we extracted out from the response. Next, our task will be to extract out the response body that we have received as a part of response and print it out on the console of the application. To do that, let's examine the methods that are available to operate on the same response object. We are looking to retrieve the response body and hence we need to invoke a method which operates on the response object and fetches us the response body. To do that, we must first write the response object and based on that, write a method which will help to fetch the body of the response. Let us start by get and here we have a suggestion which talks about get body which is the first option here and if we read in the IntelliSense, what it does is that it returns the response body. Since this is exactly the thing that we have been looking for, let me simply select it and here we have it written. Once we hover over it, what we see is that it has a return type of response body and hence we must write a variable which will be able to hold the response body being returned as a part of a response. I have not imported the library over here. Let me quickly import it. The response body. Next, since our response body is being stored in the body variable, it's time to print it out on the console. So we write response body is and next. I write body as the response body also has a interface method which is called as string so I'll make a use of it and invoke as string which will help to convert the response body into its string representation and print it out on the console. I run the application as a Java application and maximize the screen. Here we have it, the response body has got printed out over here which is in JSON format and since as you can see it is stretching out all across the console, I think there is a better way to handle it. So let us do it in a more efficient way. I will comment out this particular line and we have the body object this is an interesting method that is pretty print. What it does basically when we read in the IntelliSense is that it prints out, it returns the body as a string. 
and further reading tells us that it is useful for debugging purposes when we are writing the test and it is possible for content type which are json xml or html since the content type that we have received as a part of response body is in json it will be useful for us so i simply select pretty print and now i will trigger the test again i run as a java application and there we see it has got printed out in a better format and much readable than the previous output there i have maximized the screen and you can see it has printed out in a better format listing out all the books that we had initially requested the server to list out to us so thus we have sent out a rest assured request to the server to fetch us a list of books and among the resources that the server sent out to us was the response body which we were able to extract out from the response and print it out on the console